Welcome back, my dear student. In this lecture here, I'm just going to review some of the co-editors that I use and that I recommend all the time for my students. Now, keep in mind that, it's, that if you already have your co-editor that you use to code either PHP, JavaScript, or whatever you code, that is fine. You don't need to switch co-editors to follow along with me. All you need is any co-editor that you are able to put text in there, all right? Basically, it really doesn't matter. For me, as long as you can code in your co-editor, you're good to go. This lecture is just to recommend you some of the co-editors that I think are really good at this moment that I'm recording this video. So the first one is brackets.io. You go to that website there and you can find it. You can download it. It's free. It's, uh, I believe Adobe makes it. And it has a really cool interface, a whole bunch of uh, cool features, a lot of plugins. You can look at your web page and code at the same time. It has a preview window. I have it right here installed. You can see the, the icon right there. I have also Sublime Tets. All right. And this one is the one that I'm going to be using for this course. And I use it for some of my other courses too. But I also use brackets because a lot of people download brackets because it's free. All right. So Blind Text has a price tag at this moment of $70. Maybe they'll put down the price later on. But right now it's $70. What is so good about Sublime Text? Well, it has a lot more plugins and brackets. It's a more professional co-editor. This is when people really get really professional. But again, you don't need a complicated co-editor to code. All you need is a text editor. Anywhere you can write text, even Notepad. I don't recommend it because I don't recommend Notepad uh, from Windows because it's really not a versatile, it's not flexible co-editor that will show you highlighting syntax. It will show you when you make mistakes. I mean, these co-editors are really advanced and they will show you when you make a mistake. All right. So it's just going to help you write code a lot, a lot better. All right. So you got the free one brackets here. So blind text has a price tag. I also recommend text wrangler for Mac users. Oh, by the way, brackets, it's available for Windows, Linux, and I believe and, and Mac users for sure. All right, so it's available in different platforms. Sublime Text, the same thing with Sublime Text. Text Wrangler is only for Macintosh users. All right, and Coda. Coda is for Mac users, I believe. All right, so you're welcome to check it out. Let me just go back here. All right, and you can just read on it, and it will show you exactly everything you need. All right. So it does have a price tag and it's really is actually a re one of the coolest co-editors out there. All right. It's just for me, it's just a lot of features. All right. I like something simple that I can just see the code and just write it down and that's it. All right. I don't like complicating myself too much. I, I already have to think a lot when I'm writing. So why should I think about, you know, other things. Right. But anyway. So these are the co-editors that I recommend. You're welcome to use any co-editor you want. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm here to support you. Thank you again and see you in the lectures.